Mastering Communication, The Art of Reporting Advice in English Hello everyone! Welcome back to our English language learning journey. Today, we'll delve into a very important topic. Reporting Advice in Communication In our previous videos, we've covered the basics of reported speech and how we use it to report commands and requests. Today, we're going to take it a step further by learning how to report advice. Now you might be wondering, why is reporting advice so important in communication? Well, let's find out together. Before we dive into the why, let's quickly understand what is reporting advice. When we report advice, we're basically taking a piece of advice someone has given and telling it to someone else or reporting it back later. We often use the modal verb, should, for this. For example, if someone says, you should drink more water, in reported speech, you would say, she advised me to drink more water. Reporting advice plays a crucial role in communication, especially in English. Here's why. 1. Provides context. Reporting advice helps to provide the right context to a conversation. By reporting advice, you're explaining to someone else what you've been advised. This gives them a clear idea of what was suggested and why it might be relevant. 2. Ensures clarity. Reporting advice ensures that the advice given isn't lost or misunderstood. It helps to relay the exact message that was given, thereby promoting clear communication. 3. Promotes learning. Reporting advice also enables learning. It allows us to share and learn from the advice given by others, thereby enhancing our knowledge and perspective. 4. Strengthens relationships. Lastly, reporting advice strengthens relationships. It's a way of showing that you value and respect the advice given by someone, which can enhance mutual understanding and trust. Now that we understand the importance of reporting advice in communication, let's look at some practical examples. 1. Direct advice. You should revise your notes regularly. Reported advice. She advised me to revise my notes regularly. 2. Direct advice. You shouldn't stay up late. Reported advice. He advised me not to stay up late. Remember, the key is to use should in the direct advice and convert it to to or not to in the reported advice. And that's a wrap on our lesson on reporting advice. Remember, Mastering reported speech, particularly when reporting advice, is an essential part of becoming fluent in English. It not only helps you communicate more effectively but also broadens your understanding of the language. We hope you found this video helpful. Keep practicing and we'll see you in our next lesson. Until then, keep learning and stay curious.